Yeah, I think you have summed it up. So the results were not uh, favorable. Uh, we did what we have to do. They held in there and um, we couldn't score. Yeah? Also, the goalkeeper was very good. Made some brilliant saves. A very difficult game for for Tom, the referee. The referee of the year last year. Uh, to, be, to be at that level, you need consistency. You need to show what you have. But um, I could see where we start the way the way the match started that it needed a victor from Wanyo or, or, or Mario or, or Gomez. Yeah. He still has a long way to go. He's not going to be my referee of the year. I think Tyson had nine lives tonight. Um, just could not believe with Galeto that was in pizza as the last man and and he tackled from behind. I don't know what you call that. And above that, he goes on the side there and goes like a pizza and he's still on a yellow card. The funny part is the referee orders the medicals to come in and check the player. Under normal circumstances, yes, he's right to check the player and get the player should be looked at. But for that long, we have a player on the pitch. You, 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 you attending a player for that long on the pitch. Normally, when that happens, it's a, it's a yellow card. And he didn't he also order him to go out of the pitch. So I said, okay, it's a straight yellow. Because those are the principles. And then he goes to the corner there and uh, they're hugging each other there. I don't know what they're doing. And then uh, uh, a lovey dovey talk. I mean, what are they talking? Why he doesn't take him? Because you gave another one a yellow card, so you can't give another, uh, 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 you gave another red. You can give again then another red. I mean, it's straightforward. And he goes and gives uh, uh, Wayne Arens a, a yellow for the foul, and he doesn't give a, a yellow card for, the, for, for, for Pizzo on Tyson. I mean, where are the principles? And then on the corner flag, on the corner, on the corner there, Mishishi is there, on the corner. He goes straight, he goes, Mishishi gives a yellow. Why? And if Mishishi is maybe over the line that it's supposed to be, I mean, he's supposed to say to him, hey, move. Oh, straight yellow? Why? What's coming? I mean, it's unbelievable, eh? He went to Mishishi, of course. Where is he going to go? But uh, it's okay. I'm not happy with the. I'm not unhappy with the way we play. And 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 we are we are not in out of. Um, we have our own principles, our own um, objectives of accumulating how many points you need to attack. We are we are okay. Okay, we are a little behind with two two points. But um, yeah, we played a a well organized team. But I could see this game in the first two minutes, three minutes, that this one is a red card game. And at that time I spoke to my boys, I said, you can't go there. We can't go and get a play on a red card. We are playing home. Uh, I told them at that time, one of the players is going to get a red card. I told them, you know. Yeah, that's it. Disappointed with the results, but it's okay. We did everything, I mean. What else? We threw everything, yeah? No, just one of those. I think there was a penalty shot as well. I mean, the, we saw it. Okay, from where I am, I'm not sure if the ball hit the hand, but I saw a deflection. So, yeah, Tom will, will tell us. I, I think sometimes, the, the, you know, Ace, 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 uh, what do you call it, Mr. Yeah. Spot on Mob. He always says it. He says it's not that they are bad or they're, they're just they're just checking out. He says, 
You know, it's a big decision. Oh, two red cards now in this match. No, I'll, I'll be the center of attraction. I'll be, the, I'll, I'll, I'll be trending now. You know, so I, let me move away from this. It's enough now. You know, it is that kind of uh, 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 mentality. But we controlled the game. We did everything. Even in Mabida against them, we controlled the game. And we missed the chances again. Yeah, you have to move on. What are you going to do? You can't be lead now. Three points now. Come again? You can't be lead. Yeah, but we don't focus on that. You know, we're just disappointed with with this game. You know, it's not about the other people. It's about this game. You know, we should have should have wrapped it up. For me, with ten against with eleven against eleven, he should have wrapped it up. You know, but uh, yeah, it's one of those. As a new coach, you had a bit of a frustration with the fourth official, just trying to understand as to why he gave. Did you get any information from the No, the, the, the problem in South Africa, <laughs> the mentality is you are not supposed to talk to officials. They are supposed to talk to us. But why shouldn't I talk to you? Why is he talking to me then? I mean, there's a communication here. Communication is, is not one way. Ne? But if, you, if I have Victor Gomez on the line, uh, I have uh, uh, other people, they talk. You haven't seen? I speak to them. They talk. Uh, this other ones, maybe. <laughs> so they, 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 no, 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 no. St stay back. You just cross the line once. It's like a school principal with a whip, you know? Yeah, you crossing the line. Go back. I mean, really. What are we going to do with it? The, 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 you know, my bravo school. I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go why can't I talk? I mean, we are not small coaches that we can't talk, eh? We can talk. So they, 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 they have a problem with that. You know, I was speaking to the mesh commission also. Yeah. I said, don't you think Tyson should have gone with a tackle on pizza? Yeah, he's mumbling. What am I going to say? No, another letter might just come. Come again? And say another letter. Love letter might just come. For what? Because you had to explain some comments that didn't... Which comment? I'm saying the other time they, when they said, when you said the referee did well and they said you must explain. Ah, I mean, they can come. I mean, really, it's normal, eh? I mean, I, I praise the referee and then uh, I'm, I'm called. So when when we criticize them, then it's what? Yeah, it's a made out charge. <laughs> I mean, really. It's okay. It's part of life. It's, 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 it's the way it is, yeah. It's fine. And then what do you, I mean, other than just uh, the officiating and everything, what do you take from, from this game, coach, and the point, you know, in relation to where you would want to go in terms of your, if, your, your, your if, race and, and the points that you want to get in this game? If, 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 if we are realistic, uh, you would say that you are disappointed by not winning at home. Uh, but if you look at what happened, then you, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. Because, not because you got a point, or not because you drew, but because it was the way it was done. I think we played somebody here, we drew, ne? I don't know. I, I don't know who we played here, and we drew. And we never criticized the refs. Okay? But to, tonight, Tom was not, uh, to, was not on top form. That is why I say he's not my referee of the year. Last year, Tom. But this year, no. He did the big one in my respect. So he can't be referee of the year, my opinion. And that's my, my talk. Yeah. Coach, looking at the general fixtures, especially for the title chasers and the Chiefs, I'm going to play against Bates, I'm going to play against Pirates, I'm going to decide where the league is going. Am I right? Uh, my answer to you is May is a bit far. You know? I mean, let's be honest, the, the two teams. Tonight they cancelled each other, ne? even in Mabida, ne? we cancelled each other, ne? so let's see, they have to play Vets, have to play Chiefs twice, so it's also a cancelling each other there, so it's a, that's why I'm saying it's a long way, you keep going, you, 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 you do your job, you do what you have to do and you never know, you know, because I think Vets mathematically have a chance to catch, catch Chiefs, but they're also dropping points now, do you understand what I'm trying to say? And, and they can say the same thing about us, that we dropped the point, uh, to no, two points tonight. But uh, yeah, it's part of it, it's, uh, it's, it's part of life. What are you going to do? You've got to move on.
Yeah, Champions League is coming on Saturday, yeah. yeah um, I don't know if we have a press conference for that. I want to answer with Charles. But I don't want to, to, to kill the press conference for, uh, for, for the Champions League. Should we, do we have a, a media, anything for the press for, for before? Yeah, so I don't want to kill that. Okay, but uh, it's a big one, it's an important one. Because one big thing, we have, we have to win uh, here uh, against the Algerians. Because if you win, you are almost eliminating them. Ne? So, we, we, okay, you're paving a little bit for Widat also, but you've got to look after yourself. You know, let it be a two-hole horse race. So why you want to want the, why you want the third party? So, so if if we beat them, we eliminate them because I think they'll be having th two points. I think they got one in in Angola. No. And one against Widat, so we got two points, you know. And it's, it's match day four, ne? so I mean, what can you get out of that? You're gonna if you win the next two, you go into eight. So really, if we win, we will eliminate them. And head to head with us, if we win, we already eliminated. Even if they can get the same points with us, because we beat them away, and if we beat them here, so that that's a, you are eliminating them, you know, and and. And, and with that, we'll make sure that at home with uh, the Angolans, oh, with that, we'll never leave that game, you know that. Because they know that they don't want to come here, which is the last match here, and looking for, for, for results and points. So then we'll be fighting for, top of, for who's top of the lock to avoid the other big boys. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's the way it is on that one. The points are too many points behind. When you say miss chances, you mean opportunities to score. Opportunities to get to you drop two points here today. Oh yeah. But what can you do? I mean, you did everything that you could. You 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 could not win. So you 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 move on. But we miss. We we just miss to score. I mean, twice misses you missed two times in Mabeda in front of goals. And, and Madisha strike the post with the header we thought it was going to go in. Again tonight, the pizza missed the chance, level missed the chance. And, uh, and we have spoken a lot about the other decision, match officiating decisions. So, but what, what, what are you going to do? You know, you, it's a good team, this is a strong team. But two times we had them on one side. I mean, they can say yes, okay. They didn't have 10 against 11. Yeah, but the way the match was going, you saw it in the first 10, 15 minutes that this one was, was going today. Coach, you spoke a lot about attacking, uh, adding to attackers. How, how is that possible? Yeah, it's important because, because, because you, need, you need a little bit of experience. You need a little bit more like now, tonight you see. You need, you need one, one man, one more, one person more who can score from nowhere. You know, we're playing strikers. We shall not strike us. Lebu is not a striker, you know that. Same as Villa. And, and we can't put pressure on Keleso and, and, and hope that Keleso must save us. But when you have uh, uh, injuries, it's, it's, part of, it's part of the game. And injuries do happen, you know. So it's part of the game. Coach, players going Ah, well, that one. <laughs> you know that story. <laughs> With what? No, I'm, I'm not disappointed because I feel I've, I've done my part. I've done my part. I spoke to you guys, these guys said, hey, what do you think is going to happen? This guy has got a reputation. I said, give him a guy a chance. Give him a lifeline. So that's what I did. So. 
So basically, what uh, you guys were saying, or what Cape Town City were saying, was the same. Was was came out the same way. So what am I gonna do there? I mean, I can't do nothing. I remember when last did I see someone scoring from a free kick position and all that? What do you think could be contributing factors for failure in that area? Well, I wouldn't say we are that bad on set pieces. Uh, uh, we scored our last match. We scored a set piece. She, she scored a set piece of our last match um, against Vitz uh, when Arons had a nice uh, header on a set piece and was uh, saved by the goalkeeper. Madisha had one that hit the post and the one before that Mauricio scored from a corner kick. So I can't say we are that bad from set pieces unless you're talking about direct kick, kicking the, the ball direct. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it needs a uh, good timing and all that. But I can also look at the positive out of that. You remember that we were struggling with corner kicks. People were scoring corner kicks against us. I think we've forgotten about that. Eh? So I think maybe there's been maybe 10 or 12 games, you know, including the, uh, the games in Africa. Yeah? So I would turn it into a positive for Sia to say that uh, we have done well defending corner kicks and set pieces, free kicks, especially Vets. If you can't defend corner kicks and set pieces against Vets, you're in trouble. And if you can't defend a long throw in also, you, you, you'll be in trouble. So we did well. If you, if, you, if you keep it quiet against a team that is very good on set pieces like Vets, I think we, we're, doing, we're doing well. But there's no specialist in South Africa. I've never seen a specialist in South Africa. You know, when I'm not comparing anybody with Messi. But if you do fouls on the edge of the box against Barca, you know what's going to happen. I give, uh, and 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 a lot of teams in Europe, you know, they they are specialists uh, with free kicks. But we don't have that culture in South Africa. We don't have. But you need to practice them if you want. Ne? Coach, uh, Kekane on yes. 300, uh, Kekane on 300 games for St. and also she's missing the next two games. Yeah, well, uh, she won. I don't, I, do, I don't want to talk too much about the yellow card of Wayne Adams because it's debatable, you know, but that, that is, why? I mean, Tom behaves different, eh? Why you go to Mishish and give him a yellow card? You, you can't say even decent, you know? Because that guy is too far away from you to can say he said something, remonstrated. I don't know what happened. It, it, it's a big one, you know? I would like to know why was he given a yellow card. But you know in South Africa you cannot you don't get answers. Maybe you can ask. Maybe he will tell you. You know, but they, they, they will say dissent. The reason is dissent. What is that? I mean can you explain what is that? Can, can, you, can you have the last question? Yeah. Please? Yeah, KK, milestone, eh? uh, I think it's he's the best captain for me for one minute sundowns in terms of achievements. I don't know if there's any other captain who has won so many trophies like him. And to do 300 games with a goal away in, in Algiers, I mean, was uh, the icing on the cake. Yeah? Uh, he's been here, he's been a captain, he's been a role model. I don't remember him missing the training sessions. I've been here, I don't remember Kekana missing the training session. And I think he gives everything that he gives, every match, same spirit, same mentality irrespective of the age that's working against him. He's, he's a true soldier, he's a role model, and hopefully we'll get somebody in the team who's going to follow him and give us 300 games. I think Langerman is very close also to, to get that. That's what you need, and those are the people we need to honor them. Those people, that's when you're saying the legends of sundowns. Not the legend, because because one year or two years, you, you were good and flipping balls, and and had a one season, unbelievable. And then you are a legend of Sundowns. This is a true legend. So we, we honor and we respect. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and appreciate that I took the right decision to make him a captain. So I don't, I, I'm happy with my decision that I, I saw it right. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks, coach. Coach. thanks, Coach.